Welcome to another Czech pre-modern uh, match. Hello. Uh, it's me, Tomáš and Petr. How it's uh, going? We have, uh, yeah, I mean, I have some weak spot for Monoblai, <laughs> I just like to play my swamps. So we brought you another um, another matchup of some, some kind of a black deck. Um, this one is one of the basic decks. I think it's actually a very affordable deck. I think quite a few players I know build it as one of their first decks in Pramodern because basically you only need swamps. And um, basically what are you trying to do is cast Dark Ritual and, and play Bottomless Pit turn one. Uh, bottomless Pit, it's like Lilian of the Veil of Pre-Modern. So in every upkeep the player discards at random, which is very powerful. Because if you're a little bit lucky, it can discard his land turn one, it can discard his disenchant before he can cast it, so that's kind of what we're trying to do. Against creature decks, you have Plague Spitter, four off. Might be quite good against Petter, because he's playing some creatures, it's uh, <laughs> one toughness. And then you're trying to kill him with Wreck, Curse Scroll and Plague Spitter can actually, actually deal three damage a turn, so that's reasonable pop. And that gets supported by Mishra's Factory, so that's, that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm playing a deck that we already showcased in a previous video. Uh, Blue White Tempo or Solution Weenie, uh, how it's been called on the internet. I'm really curious how it's gonna play out because I have some disruption like Mana Leak or Prohibit to maybe counter one of your key spells. But as you said, you, you, you have a package against creatures, so I think it's gonna really depend on how the draws spend out. I think Standstill can be really powerful because you're maybe trying to, you know, use the bottomless pit to discard my hand and stuff like that and drawing free can be really good. So yeah, I'm curious how it's gonna play out. Yeah, I'm quite excited. Let's try it. Welcome to round one. Uh, I'm on the play and we'll get down to six. And I have a friend one with Mother of Runes. So I'm actually really happy that you play that because I have a really interesting decision on turn one. You play four innocent bots, and I don't have blue. So normally I would play this turn one, but maybe I, I want to play Mishra's Factory to protect it. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. So, yeah, just yes. wanted to point it out. Alright, I'm gonna draw. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna play around it. Go. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It definitely can backfire, but uh, he does play four innocent bots, and he mulliganed, and he very fit therapy. So. And I'll just uh, play Chain of Smoke. So this is, uh, we had this card here before. It's kind of him to Turak. He will have to discard two. He can channel back to me, but it's really good when you're on the play. Because he can't really do it. Because if, if, if so you have three cards? You, yeah, I have three cards. Mm. Okay, so I discard this. And this and then I would maybe. Okay, I discard two and I copy it. You copy it? Yeah. Fair enough. I discard these two and I copy it back. Uh, I discard these two. Mm -hmm. right. That's it? Yeah. Fair enough. Go. Oh. Mm -hmm. Then it's your turn. Attack. Mm -hmm. Go to 19. Go. Oh. Mm -hmm. You have two cards. You just play Dark Ritual. Like spitter. Yep. Now I have a. Do I know any of the cards you have in hand? Because I didn't write it down in the first round. No, no, you don't. I'll check it later. No, you don't. Now I have a decision. I can sack it, and so I didn't see source of pleasures in the first no. round. No. Okay. Because I can sack it to come. No, maybe you did actually. Yeah. He did, right? Yeah, you saw it. You saw, saw, saw. So I know you saw splashes, yeah. right? Yeah, then, then it's a no brainer. I'll discard a uh, sec, deal one damage to everything, 
And I discard uh, Souls to Pleasure. Yeah, right? I have Mother. You have Mother, right? I'll play this. Your turn. I played off the Dark Ritual because I wasn't quite sure what was going to happen, and uh, I wanted to have uh, uh, a attack for two. Go to 16. Search for blue and go. Okay, so you go to 18, right? Yeah. So now is my turn. Draw. Innocent what? <laughs> There it is. Well, you played around it. You did your best. Honestly, I think I can just play. Uh, I'll play turn one and the Wayfarer because it's really good when you play turn one when you're on the draw. Yeah. I understand your point, and I have quite a lot of removal. But I'll attack for two. It's true that it's not that likely that you're gonna play your third land, so I should have just played it turn one. Yes, and also it's for me hard to play turn uh, like a second land unless I have the answer. And when I play a second land and you search for land, that's a huge dis disadvantage for me. Especially when I'm basically going one for one all the time. How many wastelands does this play for? Sure, I'm just gonna play it. <laughs> Go. Okay. That would be interesting. Another time that it will backfire. Go. Oh, easy. <laughs> okay. If you, if you do it like that. Yep. I go to I'm a, I'm a master. Yep. Of course, you got a master. Go. 12. Yep. Go. 10. Yep. And a master. No! Go. Tech. That's not. Go. We'll see who's the master. Go. Go. What a weird sub game we play. <laughs> First with the with the chain of smog. Now with. Um, go. 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 Now it's starting to become interesting. Just this one. Go. Go. It was probably wrong to play it, but I just thought it's gonna be fun, so... Yes, it's always fun and always backfires, isn't it? <laughs> um, Especially against you. Yeah, I'm probably just going to discard that with you. Go. 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 Hmm. Hmm. I'm probably going to discard. Yeah. Go. No. All right, is it the time? <laughs> I don't want to do it. Maybe you'll have to. Okay, sure, let, let's do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Results. Mm. 
Mm. I name, name the, the guy that deals one damage. Mm-hmm. Blake Spitter. And play this. That was decent. Let's put it like that. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Think about it a bit. I would like to see, uh, I'd like to have a, a dark tool. So I'm going to cry over it. If I actually chose to discard it. I know, I know, that's why I'm saying it. Because I don't shy from my mistakes. Just have the innocent part. Okay. That's a little unfortunate. Right. Yep. And it's your turn. <laughs> That's funny. Well, in that case. I just stack above. Mm -hmm. seven. Maybe I should have kept the seven lines over the modern. Uh, yes. I named the same thing again, I guess. Mm -hmm. Do I take any damage from this, or is it in you my... will? You will. Mm. 
I don't think there's nothing I can do. Yay. That was a great game. Alright, I won game one. Uh, I don't really have that much to bring in, but I really wanted to board out for Mother of Runes because Thomas doesn't really have targeted removal and it's bad both against uh, the creature that deals one and uh, Engineer Plague. So I was just trying to find some cards to bring in. And Lightning Tutor isn't great because it's a 2 for 1, but on the other hand it can search for Stencil or the Hour of Silence, which can be really powerful in some spots. So I think it's fine to have one. How about you, Thomas? Yeah, probably the card I like from your side all the best is Anul, because I kind of want to kill you with Artifacts or Enchantment, so this card is yeah. pretty good. I brought, well, Artifacts and Enchantments. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I side out first in Furnace, I was quite sure about that, it doesn't do anything. I have to say, when I missed with the Dur Duress in the first game, that was very painful. I had another one in hand. I was thinking if I had Cabal Therapy, I could take those two Angels. Uh, maybe I could still turn it around, I'm not so sure. And Dark Ritual, of course, on the play, that's one of the best things I can do. At the same time, it's not really great top deck late game, I think the game will go long, so I went for this. Right, let's go into the games. So I, I will start. We both went down to six, and then we're going to see what better has to offer. Three options. Swords, cleansing, and fact of fiction is two lines. I think I'm just going to take seal cleansing. That's not what I wanted to see. Please, can you leave it open? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Let's go to nineteen. Black and wasteland. No. Oh. For two. Eighteen. Go. Cool. Planes and another land. Mm -hmm. hmm. Your turn. We'll probably just enough keep kill one of them. It's that draw. Go to 14. And it's your turn. <laughs> Funny game. Ooh. Back. Go. Go. Can backfire if you drew a removal spell, but and you fetch end of turn. <laughs> that was always funny. Ooh. 
And you have how many cards? Three. Three. Go. Six. Go. Right, the time has come. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. That felt really good. anticlimactic unfortunately um, but uh, really that's how it goes especially if uh, I never really had like that was kind of my what I wanted you know to have a bottomless pit turn one also I think if I if I turn to have wreck and I just resolve cross scroll also we are somewhere else you can play the game differently mm -hmm. because then we can't really cast standstill if I have cross scroll we yeah we had this here before but unfortunately in the last game I had to waste you and I hope I'm going to draw lands I play 23 and unfortunately it didn't work out obviously the, the turn after you drew wasteland i drew my mistress factory <laughs> so that, that was really bad then i had to play like engineering plague and i was kind of sure that you will have answer i was hoping it would be like disenchant so i can at least take the take uh, take the lion but uh, yeah it wasn't, it wasn't very good i think i had two ways there and i just just really needed swamp i had the double bottomless pit yeah, the games were kind of weird. They were both like standstill games. I'm not sure that's how it like always plays plays out. Maybe if I don't draw standstill or you discard it, like your your cards line up really well against mine and it goes the other way. I'm not really sure. But standstill was really good. At least at least at least in the second game. The first game it could have gone either way, but I I, I think the regular version of Mono White that doesn't play standstill is probably probably worse overall because there's not that much aggro in the format. So being able to draw free seems really good. Or do you have a different opinion? No, I think I think the it was all both games were all about standstill and like uh, the games I played with Adam and it backfired, you know. Here it just <laughs> uh, it really shined. Uh, it, was, it was amazing. And also you drew uh, you drew your cards. I mean you have four Mishra, I guess four Wasteland. Mm -hmm. I have four Mishra, four Wasteland, and Dust Bowl. So that that you know could, could play something. Anyway, good games and. Uh, we will see you next time. Yeah, don't forget to give us a subscribe and like the video. See you next time. Bye.